343 just shared a little bit of what they've learned so far about the new networking model within Halo Infinite. I'm sure you guys all know about the new networking model that's being tested within the workshop right now, and it does wrap up this week, sadly. And this networking model has been universally praised by the community, saying this feels so much better than what we've been playing for the last two years. So why not just roll it out to the general game? Well, the community manager answered that question within this Twitter thread right here. A prominent community member saying, just curious, why isn't it being rolled out prominently? And John Unishek, the community manager, goes into details about what their feedback has been for this. So if you guys like these news and informational videos about Halo, make sure you tap like and uh, subscribe because that's what you do and stuff. And let's get into it. And Unishek says that there are two main aspects why this isn't being rolled out immediately. One is technical quality, the other one is player feedback. For technical quality, he says, to allow for coverage that was not just widespread. Also had lots of depth. We needed to allow for plenty of hands on time. We wanted to let players hammer on it and try all the crazy things that can only happen out in the wild. Identifying bugs and weird edge cases was one of the main goals of the workshop. Now that we're finding those cases, we can prioritize and address the most impactful ones before expanding any further. And here's what 343 has learned about the new networking model from player feedback. To collect quality feedback on the feel of it, we wanted people to be able to play lots of matches under different circumstances. Seeing how it performs in those various games and specific combat scenarios is crucial to the long-term success of the new model. What if most players decided actually this doesn't actually feel good or nope the trade-offs aren't worth it after two weeks under these various situations the initial reaction was great to see but we needed to take the time to see if player feedback consistently and clearly stated yes this feels better over the course of the entire test this is absolutely the way 343 should go about updating the entire networking model of halo infinite because yeah initial feel was great it felt like shots were connecting better but there are sometimes little intricate details that get lost when it comes to changing things up like this. Because with this new networking model, there are significant changes to the physics and how just the game feels in general. One thing here was from popular YouTuber I'm sure we all are familiar with. Mimblish showcased a few examples here. One being that when you're driving a mongoose and then say like you bump into a player, the mongoose just goes flying off. The physics are really weird in that situation. Also seen reports of heavy aim that issue from Halo 5 returning into Halo Infinite, which means depending on your latency within the server can affect the sensitivity in minute ways, but just enough to where it can mess with your aim. And when talking about physics, another thing Mimblish brought up here was projectile speed of weapons. So basically you're grabbing from Halo 5, you can see where the skewer lines up perfectly. That would normally be a kill in the situation, but sometimes with higher ping servers, especially with like EU or Australian servers, can have some major issues because they're basically kind of grabbing the web networking model from Halo 5 and putting it into Halo Infinite, which seems great. Like Halo 5's networking for the most part was pretty good, but when you have a system that was designed for a specific networking model and just kind of drag it over to the new thing, there's gonna be a lot of minute details that will change that will kind of mess up the entire thing. So there are a lot of little things that 343 needs to take in consideration when updating the networking of the game. Lastly, Unishek does wrap up everything saying for the TLDR, we need to verify both player feedback and data. Point to it being good enough to make the change in more places, if not globally. Once we get all of that collected, we'll be able to make more informed decisions and that will help determine the next steps towards a broader rollout plan. I know a lot of us are super eager to play with the new system to hopefully remove desync completely from the game, but there are a lot of details that need to get reviewed, looked over, and updated before making this the new system to play on. The reason why this is such a huge deal when it comes to removing desync from the game is not only does it just have the game feel better, but also opens up some more opportunities of creativity for the Forge content that's within this game. Many Forgers I talk with when it comes to getting their maps put in the matchmaking, I've talked about their experiences and they say, oh, we had these really cool ideas of like moving objects that we wanted to have within our maps or more dynamic elements, but they weren't able to implement them because of desync issues. This is a developing story and of course I will share more information as soon as we get more of it from 343 about what they've learned and what they look to implement when it comes to this new networking model to remove desync from Halo Infinite. 343 also recently stated that they are bringing in some new maps, updating the sandbox, and making a roadmap for Halo Infinite. If you guys want to know more about it, check out this video right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.